and uh, see how this goes. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed, Bob and Doug. Vehicle pitching downrange. One Alpha. Copy. One Alpha. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Falcon power intometry nominal. M1D throttle down. D throttle down. We're throttling down to get ready for the period of maximum. Vehicle is supersonic. That's pretty much the I mean, that's my excuse. Well, looks like we are uh, on our way. The, the next big uh, moment is uh, Max Q. Garrett, why don't you explain to us what that is? So we've actually passed through the uh, period of the maximum aerodynamic pressure where the wind is the strongest. That's a challenging flight regime. Uh, and we're, we've passed that hurdle. And the next thing that will be coming up is the shutdown of the nine engines in the first stage. That will be very rapidly followed by separation of the stages and ignition of the MVAC vacuum engine, the second stage engine, to take us up into orbit. See, uh, uh, President uh, Trump are clapping there. It, 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 it all seemed to, it looked picture perfect. Was it? Uh, as far it, everything so far is nominal. Uh, it's really looking like a good flight, and uh, you know we got a ways to go here. So, uh, but uh, so far it was beautiful. It's just in, like dreamlike to see that thing actually take off. Yeah, it's it's exciting to, to watch it, no matter how many times you've seen it before. And nobody has probably seen it more than Bill. So, but what were your thoughts? Is it is it finally uh, lifted off the pad, and we're actually in this new space era? Well, we've seen a lot of Falcon 9s take off, and from that perspective, the launch looked exactly like all the others we've M1D seen. The difference this time is you know there are two human beings on board, and that gives it a whole different sense of urgency, no question about it. Uh, I want to say we're looking at a camera now that's on the rocket itself looking back at the Earth. Uh, you're getting ready to see stage separation where the first stage will shut down its engines, fall away, and then the flight will continue on the power of the second stage engine. Joe, you out, man. Falcon stage separation confirmed. The view you have on the on Falcon the left side of your screen is looking up at the second stage from the first stage, and the view on the right side is actually the view of the second stage engine, which is now lighting up. Uh, it'll glow red hot. That's how it actually cools itself down. And that first stage uh, will turn around and come on back, and, and we'll attempt to land it on the ship. I mean, we've heard a lot of talk about how this this is fully automated. So, what is it that the astronauts at this point are responsible for? Are, are they are they just along for the ride, or is there something more to it? At, at this point, they are uh, monitoring the performance. They're looking on their screens to see if they are heading in the right direction at the right speed. Uh, there's really only one command that they can they can use at this uh, during ascent, and that is there's a big handle right there uh, you see in the left screen in the middle of the two of them. That if you pull that, it will light up. The Super Draco escape system, and you hear them in the background talking about different 2A, 2B. These are different things that the Super Dracos will do if you pull that handle right now, or if it automatically goes right now. And Mark, uh, just to jump in real quick, these views we're seeing from inside the cockpit, we've never seen live video of U.S. astronauts uh, in a rocket during launch on a U.S. spaceship. The Russians have done this for for years, but uh, we've never seen this view uh, for an American launch. And when he, when Garrett mentioned the escape system, let, let's talk about that a little bit because that also factored into the weather that we were talking about. It wasn't just weather uh, here on the launch pad, but weather all the way up the East Coast in the Atlantic, uh, really all the way to Ireland, Stay just as a contingency plan. Why don't, why don't you explain to folks how exactly that's going to work and making sure that the astronauts always have a way out if something really should go wrong? Yeah, so the... the uh 
spacecraft has Super Draco engines. There are eight of them in pairs of two in these in these four pods. And if uh, if the Falcon 9 is having a bad day, they can light up. Now, early on, they would take the trunk with them if that would happen, uh, and the trunk fins would provide stability in the atmosphere. Now, at this point, they would just leave without the trunk, and they can get away from the Falcon 9 very quickly, uh, and in fact, have that luxury of that system all the way up to orbit, which is something we didn't have during shuttle. And depending when it, heaven forbid that it, it, it needed to happen, but depending when it happened, they would land somewhere in the Atlantic, and it, it could go, what, all, all the way to Ireland, right? Right. That's correct. So actually, we avoid the North Atlantic on purpose. Uh, at first, we will turn back and head to ha uh, Nova Scotia, basically Halifax. And then once we get a little further along, we actually will speed up with the Super Draco engines and head to Shannon, Ireland. So we will